Welcome everyone, this is Everyone Loves Pirates, and today I'm showing you a game called Hets. Now Hets is by a guy named Ditto, and he's done a few games that I really enjoyed uh, during the Love and Dare competition. So last Love and Dare 29, he did a game called Under Yatan, Y-T-A-N, and for Love and Dare 28, he did a game called Blumster. And um, these have very similar kind of um, graphical kind of look to them, uh, definitely an artistic style there that I actually enjoy quite a bit. And so the description for this game is you meet a mysterious man in the darkness. He seems panicked and depressed. He gives you a gun and tells you to destroy the statues. What have you gotten yourself into? Uh, it's described as a very fast, difficult platform about shooting monsters in dark, randomized caves. After each cave, you get rewarded with some well-deserved rest and an upgrade that will help you fend off the ever-increasing amount of beasts that you encounter. Uh, so let's jump right in. I have played it before. I actually have beaten the game. I've played it quite a few times because... Um, one, just to see how things were going. Two, uh, I needed, to, I ended up needing to map it to my controller because, uh, yeah, it really helps to play with the controller in this game. And then the sounds were so loud, uh, I had to like ditch uh, three videos that I recorded because I, because uh, you couldn't hear me over like the sounds of the, the rocket thing shooting. So one thing you'll maybe notice already is you can shoot up through these platforms, but you can't shoot down through them. So I'm actually safe at the bottom of the level from other people that shoot things, uh, with like an exception or two. But once we kill all the statues, the door opens and we can go through the door. And like the description said, we can pick from three uh, things that that uh, make us better upgrades. I actually like this one a lot. Statues drop healing hearts. We have to kill the statues anyways, and you don't actually pick up the hearts until you need them. They'll kind of just bounce around the level. Um, so like I'm at full health, I can't pick up the heart, but I can leave it there and get it later uh, when I need to. Now of course these enemies can't fly through uh, the platform, so you're not completely safe in the bottom. Now another interesting thing is you don't have to kill all the enemies. In fact, there's no benefit to killing any of the enemies. You just have to kill the statues. So with that in mind, especially during this playthrough, as I show you what's, what the game is like, I'm probably going to do my best to just get past the enemies, get to the statues, and great. But I had those hearts waiting for me, so yeah, and just kind of get through each level as soon as possible. Now a couple of things that I'm not going to say are bad, but end up killing me, are as, as you're shooting, you run back and forth, you can't turn. So a lot of times, like, I end up with a guy behind me, I forget to take my finger off the shoot button, and I can't turn around and kill him. Or, like, I try to turn too quick, and uh, don't end up actually turning. Hit the shoot button too quick. Yeah. There is some knockback to the gun, which I actually like. There is an upgrade that can get rid of that, but I like being able to do this. When there's stuff below me, I can kind of hover in place. Oh, good, we killed all the statues. Let's get out of here. And I find sometimes when it pushes me off ledges and stuff, that actually ends up saving me. Now, I also really like the Helper Fairy, so I'm going to get that. In fact, I find that the Helper Fairy is almost 100% necessary in some cases. I'll explain those maybe when we get to a little bit. I mean, look at that. You're just sitting there shooting that guy. They can't. He can't get hurt. He can't die. So, I mean, really, if you have all the time in the world, you can just sit there and let him kill things. On most levels. That's everything, yeah. <laughs> Do it that way, why not? Okay, so I don't care about going faster. Statues dropping more hearts really isn't necessary. No pushback from the gun. See, the funny thing is, I don't like this one, and I don't like the go faster one. I really don't need double statue dropping hearts. I'll take speed for the first time. I just tend to stay in place, to be honest. At least I don't have to go super fast to keep getting hurt. In fact, moving around too much usually gets me hurt. Oh, so... This guy can kill because I'm far enough away, but that cannon that was up there, that's the one I'm thinking of. They shoot these little bullet build things. And the bullet builds, you can't shoot out of the air. So there are these huge projectiles that you can't kill. And they go through the platform, so you can't hide underneath platforms. Yeah, there we go. 
So they actually can be a real big pain in the butt, because they also seek you out. So like you have to make sure they run into a big block like this, instead of just a little, like they'll go right through this. And they live for quite a while. So if I got close enough, my helper fairy would take care of it for me, but just to kind of speed things along, I'm going to do it like that. <sighs> more statues dropping hearts. Okay, since it's high end, uh, shoot more bullets. That's what I want. I like this one a lot. It's kind of tough for me when I don't get it. These circle things put out these mosquitoes. So this helps a lot for the mosquitoes. This kind of makes your gun more powerful anyways. Which is nice. It takes a lot of shots to kill some of these things. Oh, did that hit me? Fine, doesn't matter. Back to full health. Now I can't shoot. Oh no! No, 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 no. Oh, the hovering thing helped a lot there. Skull guy, I don't like Skull guy either. Okay, we're in full health. Where's the out? Okay, so another helper. And this just hurts people that hurt you. I don't really have that many chances to get hurt. I only have three health, so I'll definitely take more helper fairies. Helper fairies are awesome. Uh, at least that gun is okay. It shoots regular things that are blocked. Oh, wait, maybe they're not. They are blocked, but not when he shoots all the way through. Ouch. Okay, so we only have one health left. Let's see if we can get this heart. There we go. Kill that heart as well. Okay, that should be all of those. I don't know where the out is. is. Come on! <sighs> so this gives us regenerative health, but basically knocks our health down like crazy. Basically, uh, by a third, which is just too much. Excuse me. So we'll take hide and sense. This kind of slows down time if you're about to get hit by something, which could be helpful. Oh, see, like that. Of course, it was a little not quick enough for me. Well, kill that for me. Thank you, helper. I don't know where our other helper is. Oh, he's way up there. Sometimes I just like to watch the helpers help. Me. shoot now, huh? Well, my helpers will come take care of you. Okay. Um, heart, don't need it. I need the statue. The last statue? I think it was. Let's just run away! Oh, man. I'm not getting the things I want. Well, we'll take a shield. So obviously, you know, the screen shakes when you shoot. That probably will make YouTube not super happy. Um, or my recording software, probably various things. But um, it is interesting because it adds a bit of difficulty. So like the more shooting stuff you have going on, like the harder it is to tell what the heck is going on. So I actually, I like it. It's an interesting way of doing things. Oh, nice. Uh, apparently I'm getting hit anyways. What was hitting me? I never saw it. It was underneath me somewhere. I thought I was dodging something. Uh, let's go one more. Let's hit R to start again. I'll show you a few other upgrades, hopefully, so I can kind of show you the stuff that I like. So, as, since things are randomized, it's kind of um, a little roguelike-ish. It's hard to, uh, you know, some starts are harder than others. Some things help you more. Uh, sometimes you get 
three things that you want upgrade wise sometimes you get nothing that you want upgrade wise sometimes enemies are horrible sometimes they're super easy Go. Thank you, helpers. Like, this is a pretty difficult level, too. I don't really have the... I mean, luckily I have the helper, but, you know, I... I don't really have great upgrades to work with. Oh, awesome. No way of recovering my health when I get hurt. All these guys take a lot of shots because I haven't upgraded my gun at all or anything like that. Let helper help for a while. Go. Ah, uh, same old, same old. So the time I beat it, I got a lot of things that give you more health, and that is, I think is I like not even ideal. I think it's necessary for a good playthrough, especially when you get to the end. I had 15 health going into the last boss, and I barely made it. I also had like three helpers. Faster, statues drop hearts, definitely want that. I had multiple shields, I had tons of health, I had multiple helpers. It's a very good upgrade path for that one. Okay, really, we should just leave these guys alone. Of course, the helper won't realize that. you. Just trying to get over here. There we go. I don't need the heart. Alright, got filled up. Okay, another helper. Shoot more bullets. I'm going to take more bullets. Usually I take the helpers every chance I get. They really are helping. Oh no! Wow, that's a lot of those. Yeah, I'm dead. Not really anything I could do with that start. Multiple homing bullet bills and the uh, the homing flying dudes. Um, yeah, just with the upgrades I had, it was pretty rough. So there you go. I think you've seen a pretty good amount. Uh, there's more upgrades for you to find when you play. Obviously, there is the last boss as well and more enemies. Um, there's some nasty enemies in here. So uh, if you like what you see, there will be a link in the description. Go give it a shot. It is name your price. So you can download it for free if you want. Give it a try and then pay whatever it's worth to you later. Um, but I do recommend playing it. It's a fun game. I obviously have uh, I have quite a few plays in this and I enjoyed it. Uh, and I probably got lucky to be able to beat it as quickly as I did with my seventh playthrough. But, uh, and also I'll leave, I'll leave some links in the description to the other video, uh, other games by Ditto, or at least I'll, I'll leave links to the videos, and in those videos, and those descriptions are links to, uh, the games where you can download them and play them as well. They're Love and Bear games, so they're free, and, um, it's interesting to see just kind of the development of his art style and gameplay, and it's, uh, it's pretty neat. So, uh, once again, thanks for watching, folks. Uh, thank you, Ditto, for bringing this to my attention, and, uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.